Hi and uh, welcome to Fire and Steel. Excuse my voice, I have a fucking cold. Uh, yeah, today we're gonna review the uh, Shrade Sechef 42. S E H F 42. Uh, it's uh, designed by uh, Brian Griffin. Uh, Shrade sent us this for free, um, but it, it retails for around $45 when it comes out on the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's jump to the specs <coughs> before I cough up my lungs. Uh, overall length is uh, 9.8 inches, the uh, blade length is 5 inches, the uh, blade thickness is uh, 3 and uh, no, 3 sixteenths of an inch, <laughs> and it weighs 8.9 ounces. The uh, SCHF42 has 1095 steel. Blade steel, uh, it has a full flat uh, grind, drop point, and a black powder coating. It has uh, jimping up here and on the pommel as well. Uh, the handle is made of uh, grivery, and uh, the blade is full tang. I think that was all. That, that was all the facts, at least. So yeah, performance. Yeah, also it has a small recurve. Yeah, slight recurve. Yeah, and a 90 degree spine. Yeah. So it took to a uh, fire steel very well. Oh yeah, no problems at all. That uh, really did. Mm. Um, the coating came off a little bit, but that's to be expected. Yeah. Uh, when you strike fire steels on your knives with the coating. Mm. Yeah. Um, what do you, you want to do with the jimping? Yeah, we might as well. Uh, <coughs> the jimping up here, a uh, little too aggressive, too deep, uh, as well as pretty sharp edges. Yeah, sharp edges. Seems like there's a lot of 90 degrees uh, angles. Yeah. yeah, you got 90 degrees on the sides and in between. Yeah, so it kind of hurts your uh, your thumb a little bit when you go deep into the wood. Mm. Uh, the jimping on the on the pommel is even worse. Yeah, it's uh, sharp. They resemble spikes more than uh, jimping, if you ask me. Yeah. So, so if you do these stabbing things, yeah. you're gonna really hurt your finger. Yeah. You have some nice marks, though. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Uh, the blade is uh, came very sharp. Yeah. It did. Uh, with a, with a nice uh, finish to it, I think. Uh, mm. It looks. Really, really good. Yeah, I like the look of this uh, coating. Yeah, and really, really fine powder coat, and also a full flat. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not often you see that anymore. No, too many knives. Yeah, and we talked about this uh, this grinding. Yeah, I like that down it's here. Cool that's, design. Yeah, it's really cool, and a pretty big uh, finger guard too. Yeah, very really nice to hold. It is. The length of it also means that it's a pretty good knife for batoning and, uh, and that kind of stuff. We batoned a pretty thick log. I think it's with logs on five, four or five inches. Mm. So it, it goes through easily and because of the uh, because of the full flat, it really penetrates the wood very well. Yeah, it's so, it's like hell. Yeah, so it's very good for, uh, for batoning. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And for fine work. Worked yeah, really, really well. Made some bow drill divots, and uh, that's a nice. It's a, it's a nice workhorse. Mm. Um, yeah, handle. You want to do that one? Yeah, the uh, the handle started to come loose when we used it today, and it just got worse when we used yeah, it more it, and more. Yeah, it didn't uh, come loose uh, the other times we've used it. Mm. So it came loose today. I'm not sure why. Uh, we're gonna tighten it and see. Yeah, we didn't have the tools to tighten the, the screws today. Uh, 
but we're gonna use it more so we're gonna probably do a release it on this one too. yeah <coughs> the gravery handles feels a lot like k-bar mm. uh, well they use gravery as well so but it's nice nice to hold yeah I didn't feel any hot spots. I haven't felt anything like that. It's really slick. Yeah. Slick handle. But it sits well. Anyways. Really <coughs> good grip. And that finger groove is big. Mm. So, and this part here that comes out really... There's no risk of your knife slipping. No. Uh, down on the, on the edge. Yeah. Yeah, also linear hole, of course. Yeah, there's linear hole. Pretty, Pretty big one. Yeah. Uh, also, we noticed that uh, the steel here comes. Uh, the handle seems a little bit too small. Yeah. Uh, by not much, but a little bit. Uh, we don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like that and it doesn't really matter, but. You can't feel it when you hold it, anyways. No. It doesn't make any hot spots. So I guess, I'm guessing it's a finish. Yeah, it's probably a finish. Yeah. <coughs> but as you'll see in our test, it really does all we put it through that we feel this type of knife should, should be able to perform very well. Yeah. And uh, for 1095, for that price, yeah. it's pretty damn good. Yeah. It is. Nice package. It is. brings us to the sheath. <laughs> the sheath was a bit of a surprise, uh, to be honest. Uh, it's um, a black premium leather sheaths, sheath. Uh, it has a button lock, which secures the knife very well. Mm. It, there's no rattle or uh, or anything here. And, uh, the button isn't hard to come loose. Some knives are really irritating. Yeah. This one fastens easily with one hand, opens and locks, and uh, but it doesn't just come off. Yeah. So and it's not too tight either. Some knives you have to really yeah. get the loops over. Yeah, and you, you, you might be afraid then that you know the button's gonna come loose after a while because it is gonna come loose, loose if it's too tight. Yeah. And it doesn't on this one. Uh, a huge belt loop. Really big one, and I, that's good. Mm. So you don't have to worry about what belt to put on your pants, and it fits pretty much everyone. Mm. Has that trade logo on it? Mm. Um, which I guess is a nice detail. I wish there was, uh, well, a logo, a yeah. sign more than just trade. Yep. But uh, well, it's just a detail preference, really. Mm. Uh, it has edge block on the inside, it's really hard to see, but you can see it on the outside. Mm. So there's edge block in between. Other than that, it looks good. Yeah. Seems sturdy. Yeah, it seems sturdy. I guess the finish isn't the best, but it doesn't matter. I mean, $45, you get a 1095 knife with a grivery handle. Mm and a leather sheath, you can't yeah. complain about that. No. So I think Trade uh, has done a good job on this one yeah. uh, by uh, removing themselves a little bit away from that 8CR13 steel yeah. and going for the more sturdy steels. <laughs> so I definitely think this might be a bestseller for Shrade yeah. this year. I mean, it looks cool mm. and it feels very well yeah. in the hand. And it does. Uh, It's a neat little thing. Mm. My! <laughs> oh, yes. Who is this uh, my 4? Yeah, who is this my 4? What would you say? I would say this is uh, uh, just a normal knife. Uh, yeah. But if you want uh, one of these, I guess, tactical, cool looking knives, this might not be for you. It has more of a traditional look to it. Yeah. Uh, with the leather sheath, uh, the recurve. It's really a, a bushcrafting knife. Mm. It is. I mean, we made feather sticks uh, pretty easily with it. Mm. The grind felt good on that, and the edge is nice. Yeah. Uh, 
Good for baton. Yeah. Small amounts. Strikes the fire steel well. Yeah. And uh, it holds up. So I would say it's uh, it's definitely a uh, a bush crafting knife. Yeah. Uh, more so than a I guess you could a survival knife, but there aren't any modding possibilities here. Mm. So you would have to carry your fire still on the side. But I mean, <laughs> why the hell not? So yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a nice knife. I mean, you get a lot for the money, in my mm. opinion. Yeah. Forty five bucks, leather sheath. Hell yeah. So. It's a good deal, mm. which brings us to should you buy it? Yeah, well, I guess we all already said it. Yeah, absolutely. I if think you're uh, searching for a five inch knife, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. No, so um, unless your main chore is to hold it like this, with your yeah. The, the stabbing thing it's yeah. not it's not good for that and uh, the jimping needs trade needs to do something about the jimping because it's a little bit too aggressive mm. other than that I think this is a very good product uh, the best product I've tested from trade yet yeah I agree um, the coating has held up nice uh, it sits well in the hand mm. great ergonomics yeah, and the jimping up here, which we complain a little about, is only a problem when you start the uh, chopping, thrusting, the... Uh, yeah, and really digging in if you want to do yeah. it. But you don't have to use your thumb there if you want to dig in, because you get a... Uh, the hand goes up very nice. Because I, have, have, I don't have a problem with this when you do the finer work. I don't feel it as, as much as them. No. It's when you do this uh, shock. Yeah, this, this shock. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But still, I think they should... They don't have to go so deep. I mean, why would they go so deep? Uh, mm. It's it's weird to me, but I guess it's a preference thing as well. But I think they should change it, mm. not make him so aggressive. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's all we had for the uh, trade. Such a forty-two. Recommended. Recommended. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>